Welcome to Boomshot, the show where we take a look at film, photography, and the business behind the scenes. This week, we make actors shut up, which is not easy to do. Often, the biggest problem I find with short films that I'm watching from beginners is dialogue that says exactly what the character is thinking or feeling. In the industry, this is known as dialogue that's too on the nose. Now, I tried to figure out where that term comes from, but I had no luck, so don't ask me. But what I do know is that sometimes it's the wrong way to go. So, in the interest of not talking too much myself, we're, we're just going to roll the clips. Here we go. Hey. Don't even think about it. Why not? Because I want that piece. And I want that piece too, so... You can't have it. Well, you can't tell me what to do. Try to take it, I dare you. In this scene, we know exactly what each character wants and what they're thinking because they tell us exactly what that is. But what if we had the same exact scenario but without any dialogue? Would we still know what they wanted? Let's find out. This time around, we didn't have any words said during the entire scene, but we still have a very clear idea of what's going on. The conflict is there, and we can tell the audience the same story without beating them over the head by saying things that they could gather with their eyeballs. As an added bonus, when you take away unneeded dialogue, your actors have a chance to act. They get to breathe and then show their emotions instead of telling them. They say the eyes are the window to the soul, so give them a chance to open that window and then shut their mouths when it's not needed. Besides, no one actually runs around telling people exactly what they feel at every given moment of the day. If they did, our lives would be like this. You wanna read this one? I'm angry at you, so I'm rejecting your book. In real life, people act a little bit more like this. Now you've probably heard people say a hundred times, show and don't tell. It's a phrase that's probably overused, but in a lot of cases, it's absolutely correct. If you want to get better at the idea of show and don't tell, try this. Write a scene where no one ever says a word. Tell a full story, have a beginning, a middle, and an end, but don't allow yourself to use any dialogue anywhere in the story. It's not even something you have to shoot. It's just practicing showing things in your script and imagining what that's going to look like when you actually shoot it. You'll find yourself using this more often in your regular writing if you practice this once a week or once a month or just as often as you can. You'll find the balance between showing and telling and it'll integrate into your script writing like a job. Just remember that in script writing, as in all things, it's about finding the right balance. We'll see you next time. Hi, thanks for joining us here on Boomshot. If you like that, make sure you hit the like button below and the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss an episode. Here on this channel, you can find Boomshot as well as a lot of our short films and other projects that we're working on. So stay tuned.